his spells with an Ezreal was definitely something to talk about. And we'll see whether he can translate that into the mid lane here with the Victor now. Death Rays. Of course, no one really having the same... Well, actually, Condi making his way towards the top side here. It is going to be a 2v2 in this scuffle as Swift bouncing around. 957 taken down very, very low. Tries to flash over, but... Very interesting decision making there as V has to flash out, but is going to be safe now as Condi. He's such a beast with that true grit running. Has to flash, but he's going to miss the wall as Peko is going to be able to come in and grab the second kill. QG playing great, but Shie is going to answer. Just, we'll see whether any pressure is going to be gained back here as there's the flash up by all the twisted events comes in. And a zero dies in his magical journey. V just celebrates by heading through himself as the culling's going to come out. Ahead by Paul Rise, but there's the deep, deep. teleport V. A double teleport coming in right now as well as Moore doesn't quite find the Pulverize, but Mystic is going to get caught out of position. V grabs it with the Ventral Maelstrom, but Xie trying to pressure out with at least a zoning distortion there. And <laughs> I'm trying to think like the most polite way to say this. They're debating between do we kill Uzi or do we kill Pekka, and they're pulling the trigger on Uzi. Yeah, the teleport is going to come in, but Uzi does dash out of the way. Tempered Fate onto Moore, though. Oh my goodness, he is between a rock and a hard place and an entire Team WE lineup. He's going to go down, Unbreakable Will or not. WE grab their second. Xie... Oh my goodness, Chaos Storm do goes this. down, he's looking for Peko. I have a feeling he's going to be able to nab it too as the chains do go off and Xie grabs the 1v1. Can't believe Peko in the players that have been stepping up for WE as well as 957. He's in a whole host of trouble. The Twisted Advance is going to get him on top of 957, but he gets underneath the turret. Nice ultimate comes out as he flashes himself to relative safety. Condi makes his way in. End of the line is there and everyone flashing over the top. Swift can't exactly dance fast enough right now as the Lambs Respite is going to come in. He's trying to fight on top of it, but Condi that's the power of the Graves, just destroys him with all of his burst damage afterwards, but in comes QG, Shie going to be knocked up into the air, uses the flash to get out, low health bars now on WE, but they're looking for the re-engage with the man advantage, Tempered Fate is going to be flashed out of the way, but oh my god, this Zero player is just ridiculous. As Mystic throws out a True Shot Barrage, Uzi, Magical Journey coming down as Zero might sacrifice his life, but Uzi's going to die, Mystic playing like an absolute god, and WE coming up massive in this team fight. And reminder that QG won the initial skirmish in team fight, so from a gold deficit, Team WE are able to turn this one. Where look at all of this vision available for this squad. In fact, it's all over the place. Peko's going to get dove. But they're completely dictating the tempo of the game. The reason why they're not consolidating the resources is because QG make a massive pick here, like this one and then translate that into Baron pressure. Well, Death Ray's gonna come down. GA is gonna eat a Chaos Storm as Peko just flashes for what looks like no reason. He's trying to confuse him with the distortion, or the, excuse me, the clone, but yeah. good job on Swift. Save some time there, make sure Swift can get in there. Take that one down, WE though, in the meantime. They no, don't force anything, just oh, let Xie Peko. continue to get these leads, pull multiple resources and take other objectives on the map. This has just been such a a clinical and form of chip here under the turret. Mystic is just a big deal. Making use of that magical journey. Here we go. Yeah, she actually jumping in over the top. He does get, oh my goodness, shut down immediately. Swift is going to fall as well, though. Swift V is going to try and teleport in for the flank. Moore's going to die, though, and they've just still got so much damage. He's like, a and I'm here. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys. And now he's just going to run away. Meowkai, you're adorable, but that is a magical journey of death heading towards you. He flashes out of the way, but oh. there's the wall bang. 957 is going to be able to lock down the Maokai. And the adorable kitty's going to get taken here. Zero, that was an optimistic move. Azuzi's able to get a lot of damage down on top of him, but Peko now trying to make his way over. Not going to be able to take down Mystic. The Chaos Storm just going to sit there spinning unhappily. It's just the extra damage available here from this LeBlanc with the death cap completed now as well. Magical Journey gets zero out as more looking for a headbutt pulverize, but Condi is going to turn this one around. The ultimate comes out as Tempered Fate is going to lock up both Peko and more Uzi. An interesting use of the culling, and there's the knock up from 957. Massive distortion damage does eliminate the cow as Condi's just going to flash into it. Peko going to get smacked in the head by the shotgun, and WE are looking to try and end this game. The inhibitor's going to fall down. I have a feeling that they're not going to waste any more time either. Nexus turret's falling here as three are dead on Chaogu's side. And WE five men strong. That is another one for GA. The mid lane are smashing faces right now on this LeBlanc. And WE are out with something to prove despite the early game prowess of QG. And this is the...